Welcome to the video lecture on the examples of periodic and aperiodic signals. In this example, we'll consider a continuous time signal x of t which is equals to e to the power j pi t. So here the task is to determine is this signal periodic or not. If periodic, what is the fundamental period? So now, I can compare e to the power j pi t with the standard signal e to the power j omega t. So now I can write omega equals to pi in this case, omega equals to pi, but we already know that omega which is equal to 2 pi f and which is equals to pi in this case. So I can get f equals to 1 over 2. So this is the frequency I can get fundamental period t equals to 2 seconds. So now the task is to determine is this signal periodic or not. For that will consider a condition x of t plus capital T must be equals to must be equal to x of t. So for that I'll consider x of t plus capital T. Here capital T is 2. So x of t is e to the power j pi. So I'll replace t with t plus 2. So I can expand this term. I'll get e to the power j pi t into e to the power j 2 pi. So I will write e to the power j pi t as it is and using Euler's rule I can expand e to the power j 2 pi as cos 2 pi plus j sin 2 pi. And we know that sin 2 pi is 0 and cos 2 pi is 1. Therefore, this this reduces to e to the power j pi t and which is equal to the given signal x of t itself. Therefore, we have proved that x of t plus capital T is equal to x of t itself. Therefore, the given signal is periodic in nature. I said the given signal is periodic in nature with the fundamental period t equal equals to 2 seconds.